Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Worshipful Wednesday. We're right at the middle of the week. God has given us a short week this week by way of work. Some of you have four days. Some of you are taking vacation this week. Enjoy the goodness of the Lord. It's Worshipful Wednesday. So you ought to be at the peak of your praise. Give God the glory, the honor, and the praise because he and he alone is worthy. Today, I invite you to look with me at Matthew's Gospel, the 12th chapter, verses 22 through 32 from the New Living Translation. Here in this passage, there's a demon-possessed man, one who uh, many of us can see and we hear about him. This is the one who was blind. He couldn't speak, and everybody thought a demon was in him. So Jesus looks at the crowd, and as Jesus is going by, the crowd is crying out with amazement. Could this be Jesus, the son of David, the Messiah? And all the Pharisees, they had heard about his miracle. No wonder he can cast out demons, they said, because his power comes from Satan, the prince of demons. This text begins to become very alarming to you and to me. How can anybody who is able to cast out demons, the one who created demons, nine times out of 10, if you and I created something, we want it to continue to stay where it is so it can thrive and survive. But Jesus tells them, that I have come to do the work of the father. I have come to cast out the devil. I have come to make sure that there is peace and that everybody can find the tranquility that is from God. He tells them in this passage that how in the world would Satan be his own exorcist? But Jesus tells them it's through and by the power of God that I am able to use the spirit of God to cast out demons because the power of light is greater than the power of darkness. My brothers and sisters, this message is for someone today. You need to know that there's nobody stronger than God. There is nothing greater than the power of God. There's nothing greater than the power of God's spirit. Whatever demonic forces that appear to be coming your way, whatever those powers that be in our contemporary society that are the Antichrist, that are not of God, we have to surrender it unto the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Because when Jesus becomes large in all of our lives, every sin is forgiven. Every blasphemy is forgiven. Everything that has been against God can be changed if they are surrendered under the Lordship of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Everyone who knows that God has come to do a work and the work that he came to do is through and by his son, Jesus the Christ. Jesus is now seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and for me, but his spirit is always here with us. We must call upon the spirit of God to help us to eradicate the evil in our contemporary society. Just as Jesus spoke to the demons and told them they have to flee, you and I have to speak to the demons and the devils of our world and tell them to get out of the way because God is in charge and God is living large in all of us. Always know that God's power in you is greater than any other power in the world. That's because you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed and always know that God has a great blessing in store for you that you can walk all over the devil because the Bible tells us he is underneath our feet and Jesus is Lord of our lives. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go. And I look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.